So now we will be adding dark mode in our YouTube application. So it will be kind of fun to do, right? So let's see how we can do that. So this navigation, this React navigation has something called as theme, right? Something called as theme. So we can make use of this, right? So they have this default theme and they have the dark theme. So here you can see they have given an example to customize the theme as well. So if you want to customize, then we need to spread out the, all the default color and uh, the default properties and we need to spread out, spread the default colors and then we can override the existing color. So they have existing color, right? So this is existing color. These are, they have this primary background and the, all the existing color, right? So yeah, and they has this dark property that is false. Okay. So yeah, so we can make use of this uh, react navigation to uh, toggle between dark and the light theme, right? So we can pull out this dark theme, right? From this react navigation slash native okay let's let's make use of it right let's start the coding part and then you will come to know how this is working right okay let's see so we'll be pulling out uh we'll be going uh, going to this app and we'll be pulling out from this uh, react navigation native that is called as default d -E f a u l t default theme and dark theme like so and now let's try to add this theme to our this navigation container let's try to add theme and theme will be dark theme d a r k right dark theme let's save this if we save this and we can see that our app has now automatically been converted in this dark mode right so basically this dark theme has a default color so and that default colors has been automatically applied right but uh, you can see this header color is not being changed, right? Header color is not being changed because we have made our custom header. If we click on the search screen now, this is also, this also is not being changed, right? So let's try to customize this header, right? We'll be adding custom color for this header, okay? So for that, we need to customize, right? So what we can do in here is here, let's write something here. We'll be writing our custom uh, theme, right? So here, let's write here. Uh, C U S T O M custom dark T H E M E dark theme, right? And first, I need to spread out all the properties which dark uh, dark theme has. So D A R K dark theme, and I need to write here colors C U L O R S colors, and here I need to again spread out all the default color colors T A D A R dark theme dot c o l o r s let me see the documentation again how to customize right so yeah this is how we can customize yeah i'm doing correct right okay so i need to spread here again dot 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 yeah now you can override the existing color so this has the uh default colors of this primary background or you can add a new color let's add a new color we'll be giving it a name of header c o l o r we are uh here writing our new color let's say in the dark mode let's give a little bit of gray color so let's uh, use this color picker and let's pick a little gray shade i will copy this right and i will paste this in here right and now what i will do i will press alt shift down key i will create uh, this one ob object for default theme as well so here i will be writing the e f a u l t and i will really need to spread out the default colors so i, I need to write the default theme and again here i need to write d e d e d e f default theme like so and the default color will be white in the light mode right white okay yeah let's save this and now i will be adding uh, giving this custom theme i will i will be providing this custom theme right here control v now i want to access that this this color this header color in our header component now how i can do that for that i can make use of this use uh, theme yeah use this use theme hook right now in here we can make use of this use use theme right uh, yeah we can make use of this use theme hook and now here i can destructure something that is called as color right that is called as colors yeah colors now from this color uh, from this color we can get uh, we can see now you can see we can use this default colors but we have defined our custom color in here so let's use this custom color header color 
so we are passing this dark theme so our header color color will be changed to this color right so let's copy this control c and uh, uh where is uh here put control v here so let's save this and let's see if this works uh, yeah you can see this hello header color is being changed to little gray now let's change this font color as well so let's write here our custom font color or icon color instead so let's here write icon c o l o r if the if the theme is dark so we need to deliver that in the the we need to deliver the icon color of the icon in white right we'll be copying this control c uh, if the theme is light so we'll be delivering in the black b l a c k right okay now if i save this now i will i will copy this control c i will go to again header so this is basically a color icon color right we are reusing this color here right you can see so we can change this color so this color will be coming from now here colors c o l o colors dot control v icon color which we just created right so this is our custom property right uh, let's save this and let's have a look so you can see now icon color is being changed to white right okay now i am loving this right now let's change this icon color of this tab navigation as as well as let's change this uh, color of the tab navigator to white if the theme is dark mode right as red okay so for that again let's go to this app let's see we are passing colors from in here so we need to make use of again use theme right so where is uh, this native here we can make use theme like so and here we have wrote i here we have written this white right so uh here we need to write here custom color let's say uh tab icon right so tab icon if the theme is dark theme then we need to deliver this in the white control c control v right i will copy this control c if the theme is light then we need to deliver the icon in the red color right red color already now we can make use of this tab icon right control c and where is our component so this is our component this root component right here we can make use of this use theme hook right and from this we can destructure again the colors const uh, c o l o uh, r s colors right and i will put equal to in here so here i can now just use this right so here i will be using this colors and dot control v tab icon right now let's see if this worked right so our color should be changed to white now you can see this color is being changed to white right right now this tab uh, tab has a white uh, color right so this icons has a white color right okay beautiful right okay so i think we need to change the text color as well let's search for songs right s o n g s if we search in here right now our text color is black right i think yeah our text color is text color is black so we need to change that as well right so where is our uh had a or no 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 this in this card right so let's see the text color uh so yeah here we can add right so here we can make use of the use theme right use theme right and let's define here first color or let's first destructure the colors uh from use theme hook use theme hook right and let's destructure c o l o r s colors now here we'll be defining the text color let's define here const text uh c o l o r c o l o r and it will be coming from colors and let's say we can make use of icon color i guess right yeah uh, let's go to again my app so what color i just gave here this icon color i can make use of this icon color control c right because this icon color is white in in the dark mode so we can make use of this control v icon color now i can assign this text color control c to the color so we can assign this to this right so let's put a comma here i will write here color and this color will be equal to control v or uh, not not this control v uh, what was the name of the constant variable 
text color control C and control V and we need to change the text of this as well so let's give this a style right here and let's copy this control C control V right let's save this and let's have a look uh, yeah you can see this now color this text color is being changed to white right yeah so we need to apply the same logic to the search uh, the uh, the mini cards as well right so let's go to this mini cards right so this mini cards right here also we need to make use of this use uh, theme hook what I will do I will copy some of the stuff right from the card right so I'll be copying this control C I will be using this in here control V now uh, I can change yeah here I can change color to uh, my what was the name what was the name Oh, text color control C and control V I will copy this control C and I will give this channel here control V let's save this and we'll have a look on the search right so I have a search for let's say react native right press this button oh you can see uh, this text is being changed to white right okay amazing beautiful right okay it is working right it is working perfect right okay so now let's uh, this is it for now because video is getting long so let's uh, work uh, on the more components in the next video so may or maybe we can work in this so only thing is left is this header so let's finish this in this video itself right so this we can change the header color right okay yeah it's easy to do let's go to this header again right so we'll be copying these two lines uh, control c control c i will go to the search screen right instead search screen uh, i will paste it, these two things in here right and i will import use where is my react oh i have i haven't made use of that react navigation so i will import uh, something from at the rate react navigation at the rate native and that something is called use theme right use t-h-e-m-e right okay so where are our icons so this is the icon right so let, uh, let's add a style to this icon right and color will be what was the name uh, my color okay my c o l o r oh my c o l o r right okay and i will copy this control c and i will add this to this icon as well control v right uh, i will i need to change the header color as well right so so this is the white color right for that we can make use of again this colors c o l o r colors and dot header color right let me see the spelling of that uh, yeah this header color control c and control v let's save this and let's have a look on this okay so this is beautiful this is looking so beautiful so yeah we successfully did uh, right what we wanted so this is uh, perfectly okay this is amazing this is looking amazing so i am happy with that so we just converted our uh, app in to dark mode right so we just added dark mode in our application now let's try to uh, add again the again change this to default color so for that let's go to this app and let's here pass instead of this custom dark let's instead of this pass uh, custom default let's see if this app loads in the default color yeah so again this app is being loaded in the light theme right let's search for something let's see yeah everything is perfect right so now everything is being delivered in the light mode so now next video we'll be learning how we can toggle between the dark and the light mode right right so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video so i will catch you guys up in the next video